Hi guys, welcome to the first No Limit Gaming home game SNG series. It's a really, really sick lineup. Uh, we have Henry Bühler, aka Bulero. We have Rainer Kempi. We have Fedor Holtz, Leon from the Academy team, aka Remoculus on Poker Stars, Stefan Guskor, Sontimer, of course, and last but not least, me, myself, and I, Julian Thomas. And we have Qualifier who qualified via a Twitter. And if he's gonna win, he's gonna win $1,000. So there's gonna be three SNGs with leaderboard points. And who, if he manages to collect most points in these three sit and goes, he's gonna win $1,000. The sit and goes are starting right now. Have fun watching, enjoy. Already in a hand here, king queen a check called flop, check raise turn against his really tiny bet, and bet river. I think on a turn he's limiting his range. I don't think he plays this as a very balanced approach. So um, I think he's most likely um, not having too many flushes in his range. So I'm discounting quite a bit of these and then against the rest of his range, it's a pretty clear value value bet. Like even with two pair, he would be betting bigger, I think. Um, so I think his turn bet is pretty much medium equity. So like middle pairs and middle pair plus flush draw, this kind of stuff. <laughs> okay. Interesting flop. Uh, everything's possible here. Uh, just thinking about whether I give a shit about ICM considerations or not. But all in all, I think I just... What? What the fuck? Yeah, we're gonna call, of course. Not entirely sure. It's just like there's so many bad turns for us. So even if I bet a pot here, it's so easy for him to continue with a lot of hands. So not too easy. We have a massive spot here early on. Good turn for me. Can we hold? Yep, that's a hold. We're gonna hit it with the thank you. Ship it. Ship it, ship it, ship it. <laughs> we were the mathematical favorite, but uh, yeah. I'm not 100% sure that jam there is a thing. It's obviously 4x pot, but as I said, like pot betting doesn't accomplish anything. It's just easy to, to play against that. Um, pretty much the same counts for uh, any other size, so I could see it like, as a check jam. I could also see it as a big bet still, as I said. But um, I kind of like the jam there for a massive one. And we get the lucky result. The 1055 board where we do get to bet. I'm gonna go for the small size here. Um, if you were to raise, I would call. Should see a decent amount of mm, I like Jack Spade's King of Diamonds as a raise here, just discounts. Um, some of his. Um, 10x suited, which he is most likely going to most likely going to call a uh, three bet pre, and then I don't like this turn card so much to bet. Nothing worse than um, we can get a queen of diamonds here or something on the river to pick up more chips. Now we see the check of clubs, which is obviously pretty bad given the names or the hands that I just listed, since he will be getting there a bunch with queen check, king jack, check nine maybe. So I'm yeah, not surprised to see this bet. Um, I could go all in now. Um, or just fold. Let's go with the jam, getting a little out of line here. It's a bit too, I, I think he's the type of guy who probably, like like a lot of players, who probably just bets all his ace high or worse. 
I mean, mostly ace highs on a turn, so betting the river is just probably not a very smart idea. Um, yeah. It's generally, I think, a pretty good line to check back ace king, ace queen type of hands and then jam them on river like he did. Um, but I think without the flush draw, I don't think he checks the turn. Um, so, yeah, it's well played. It's well played from him. It's a pretty weird line, though. Um... <sighs> I mean, your face is so annoying. Ah, uh, wait. I mean, yeah. Obviously, I can't do anything, and I'm not gonna slow the uh, the poor qualifier. But my general game plan of not getting it in um, was just demolished and that'll finish my title run most of the time okay now we wait it out i want to hold on to the to the dream a few more seconds i mean the goodbye seems like a bit of a spoiler and it's gg okay how are things looking right now two points locked up if i get six points we're up to ten there's a sh chance I can win the overall thing here. Man, this was really good for me. Um, both of these guys that just busted were like leading in points, I think. We had eight points for Rainer, who goes out with nine points total. So I beat Rainer if I win this one. And Julian had seven points, so he doesn't get any additional ones. So right now it's actually most likely that our qualifier will win this because he's on a total of seven points. Um, well, I need to finish like ahead of Fedor and Prerod, and I win. So that's the plan. Let's get Fedor here. But even betting, I mean, it's like people just mostly bet too much against it. But like now I'm still talking about the hand before. Here we are, a premium, a premium hand, our time to play. I bet the third, almost. Uh, I don't think I want to barrel king here, beat a lot of a size. he still has a lot of draws. That is bricky brick. Ace King of one of these um, these hands that really I mean we we be blocking then we block King Queen. But a lot of the lower draws that he floats on the flop. Oh, he's really thinly evaluating the nine here. Kinda think that he is. But we can't really fold because he has so many gutters and shit. But it really, really feels like it's just a nine. Really feels like it. It really felt like it. Tilt. And we come at it again. Hmm. I was thinking about if we ever checked this, but don't think so. Whoops. Almost would have. Bet the 15 for the 3x over bet. That would have not been good. What a sick show. What a sick show. Two point five X. I see the flop. It's just folds, a lot close, I would imagine. With without the ace, so sick. Against a quarter, I would always float. Okay. 
kommen von der Tribet. Gotta do what you gotta do. And we see the fold. And I show the seven. This is how you do it. Pretty much. This is the one to hit, I guess. Hit! Oh! Six hundred seems affordable. Let's hit that two pair or trips. Or, I mean, I take a spade, but not the one where a uh, king is improving. So, not going anywhere, obviously. So, he's checking. That's really, really interesting. It looks a lot like pocket tens to me. Um, but I'm actually bad calling that. He might check jam some. Um, weaker draws, I get tens to fold right away often, I guess. And this is a beauty of a river. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. So he shouldn't check all any sets. So I should have 100% equity if we play that game right. And I'm jamming, let's go. Mm. Interesting hand for sure. I mean, I think I have a pretty terrible hand to call, but I'm still pretty inclined to call. Pretty weird. <laughs> Although his turn bet seemed pretty much like pair plus very weird. His turn bet seemed really much like player pair plus flush draw, like something, something that is all right. Like betting small there. Um, I mean, if you have five, six of spades, then he's just gonna jam turn, so. At least I think so. Um, so it's. Really. It's actually not that bad to bet. You know, like half your stack on the turn and then shove river if called. Makes... No back to equity either. I'm just gonna get half pot. This needs a decent amount of protection. Although I could imagine some check raises coming in here, but he didn't even tank turns. I was like, is he really gonna check raise or is it just some random give up? On a lump. He checks. Do we want to clear equity here by the way? With a spade, I'm just gonna do it, I think. Okay, works out. And he shows us the non existent uh, backdoors or whatsoever. He could waste pre though.
Alright, pocket fives and a big blind. That is playable. Blind vs blind, we're just gonna ISO and get it in. 3x is my ISO size here over the small blind limb, but the stack depth. See what Fedor does. Hopefully he hits us with the limb jam with pocket deuces. That's always so nice when you see that and he just snap him off. But he goes for the call and we see a flop that's not too great. It's gonna connect with this like decently well. Um, but I think we still want to just see bet this. If you get the fold on the flop here by 8-9, that's really nice. The folding out that type of equity on the flop seems worthwhile. Ace on the turn. Mm. Still big 3x, but not too much. Is it better to get our blast with 10x and queen x? Yeah, for sure. So I'm going to check this on the turn. And then see about the river. I think this one is kind of tough because I've cons I can have so much low shit. So I think fives just mucks it here. You know, we could have been bluffed by three. Maybe for the size we should call just to see the three a lot. Could be worth it. Maybe fold a little bit too quick, but still like generally the fold looks pretty good there. Alright, ace came going for the three but call. Usually I have a jam here, but given how deep I am with uh, Stefan, I really just want a three bet, so I'm gonna use like the three and a half X size and then call off a jam. Mix the call, we see the ten four seven. Might be alrighty to jam against him sometimes too. I would prefer other hands though, I think. This hand on this flop against him is pretty clear check. I think his checking range here is pretty damn strong. Okay, now it's interesting. Now it's really interesting. Peter goes for the jam now. We would beat a hand like ace check here. Um, having the ace of clubs is kind of nice for heroing, but I feel like it's quite easy to overhero this type of spot. It's, it's a weird one for sure. I'm not quite sure how. We should navigate that one. I feel like betting the flop just kind of sucks because if I get raised, what do I do? If he just jams, he can push me off my equity and stuff. So I do not know. I'm gonna three bet. Maybe there are some smaller bets, but I don't. I mean, on the queen, I think mostly not. Um, Ace Jack here against the three bet. Mm, I think I like jam a bit better. Doesn't have it. This is this is the kind of timing where Fedor is supposed to show us three or four or five. Doesn't do it though. against Fedor is like double important pretty much. Um, yeah, I play like two sizings on that board. Um, Ace of spades, it's a good one for the bigger one. Um, having that three outs to a top pair, um, yeah. Another ace 10, another race. 
Now I'm actually working the 34% repip. Am I not gangster right now? <laughs> that guy's working the 8%. I think the only handy play was the Queen Sandway to hold it right now. Yikes, man. Well, what are yikes? Who's coming for the race? We have a clear call. Checks it. I'm gonna have a small bet. Calls it. AC could donk, but then again, we have a lot of value ends here. I check. Four is interesting. Oh, uh, yeah. Pretty standard, everything. Our pot. Uh, I guess Fedor is just going very, very loose in that exact spot because the, the qualifier is just super, super tight so far. Um, so I'm just going for, for it with a random offsuit ace, which is obviously does not fit in any range here. Um, but yeah, Fedor is Fedor. Uh, it's kind of tough to win pots against him. So <laughs> just giving him the well played thing. I'm going to call this. Against the quarter, I'm probably trick raising a little bit more. Nice 10. Include it. Check raise here. Um. That just seems a little too weak. Value hands would be nice. Value hands are the are the key. Oh, more for a bit jamming. Fedor has it this time. But he has a better one. Ah, some chop outs for Fedor. Oh, there's the win. I mean, it's good for me if he busts because, yeah, actually, we want him to bust in fifth. Oh my god, I might have a chance of winning this one. Let's go. Okay, he needs to bust next, and then I just need to win the whole thing. And I think I tie or win. Come on, dealer. Juan time. Wow, this is actually close. Goose is good. I don't know how tight he would jam here with ICM. Um, oh my god. Yeah, I think we call Ace and suited. Wow, it just has Ace King. Such a nit. Give us that 9, dealer. Give us that 9. Nine, 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 nine. Like we're dominating ace five student that type of stuff. So either it's like ace ten here or like could be too wide. There's also gonna be a lot of like check ten suited being champed and so on. Okay, here it says we're going for it. Lots of flipping. I take my chances. And if Goose flats is even, I mean, it's not necessarily better because he could be really strong, but I don't know. It's just an easy jam. You pick it up.
Eures. I bet. Hmm. Na bad fold. Kurzot check easily. Probably folding. Ah, this is an ugly spot. We know flush draws. Um, Jack nine, King nine, Ace nine, Ace ten, King Queen, King ten. Yeah, I'm already folding quite a lot on the flop. So obviously all Ace X. Then there's the question if I prefer how much I prefer, or how many, how much the equity is relevant. Close. I don't know. I think. I think folding turn is okay. It should be sl like super, super tiny. It should be in the 0.1% uh, 0.1 EV difference. Maybe 0.2, something in that range. I I don't know. Call a fold. I guess fold is slightly better. Or play any hand versus Fedor now is just double important. So let's focus and play that as good as possible. Uh, it's like a hundred percent check call on the flop. Um, he sizes up slightly, or he's just using the thirty per thirty three percent button probably. Um, donking can be an option. I'm not doing that too much though. Just because I'm just very, very, you know, like not that much experienced in, in the donking line there, and I'm pretty happy with what I do after checking. Um, so here I have just a pretty clear check, thinking about um, bluff catching sometimes already. So um, ace high is obviously gives me some showdown value. The eight of clubs is actually a good card to have now because he would never bluff claps now. Um, so when he's betting the turn, having the eight of clubs is bad, but after, against bet check bet, that can be actually a good card. This type of hand, but... I think from our previous dynamic, like, I would be value betting very, like, really large sizings here, but... I think with this hand, given this dynamic, it's just okay to give up. He's gonna over bet, isn't he? He min bets. I call. And well. Just an easy call if he does anything. Now the, the question is if he value bet, I think we do. It's gonna go third. And we have some 8-7s, some jack-8s that we can bluff. Some other gut shots, because we have also min bet, so we are still wide, you know. It's quite a strong hand. Would also be fine to just jam, considering we have two shorties here. That means for sure good. It's for sure good to just jam. Hmm. Not the board. Not the board. Just pots it and we out. It would have rivered it though. 
Yeah. What if we roll that? Alright, King 7, we can defend or call the small blind jam. I mean, I, there's no ICM for me personally because I need to win it in order to do anything here, so it's not that tough to play. Here we're just done. Open jam or full to open. Nice. Let's go. Hey, you Hi, Rainer. You're on stream right now, right? You know that. <laughs> cool. I also have the table open, so. Okay, yeah, cool. That makes sense. So, I mean, what do you think about... I, I actually didn't really look at the payout structure. I, I didn't really know that it was kind of an ICM issue. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Funny that you said that, because like when you, when you asked in the stream, uh, like in the in the chat, mm -hmm. like in the WhatsApp chat, uh, half through the first sitting, I was pretty sure you're trolling and you were aware of it, but apparently you were not. Yeah, there was there was just so much stuff going on that I had to organize, like check the recording, do an Excel sheet for the um, to update the um, overall standing uh, standings and stuff, and then a lot of messages, and I was kind of uh, confused. So really. Still, like I'm, I'm not talking that much because I need to to make up my mind on the strategy myself. It's like pretty pretty weird situation. Obviously, main strategy is rooting against Fedor and against pre rod, um, while not losing chips myself. Um, but yeah. All right, I kind of felt that the 30 bigs regem, if he has ace king, okay, he has ace king. If he got uh, fives, we are flipping pretty much for the title here. So good luck, me. And he got eights. Oh, always feels great to flip against Fedor. Also, what what surprise? What surprise? Vader holds, just holds. Could just open rip this. It's so ridiculous. <laughs> all, these, all these stacks here. I don't even know. I'm just gonna raise and call those two, although it's pretty dicey to call him. I, I actually don't know if that's fine because he's just gonna be super tired with Goose Core sitting here on two bigs. Fuck, man. Oh, that's so ridiculous. I don't want to double him up here. F I don't see how I fold it, though. I think it's a bit too strong. And we have to 40%. Oh, yikes. That's boring. Now he has 21 bigs again, that's fucked up. That's a lot of trips. It's quite obvious that he's like strong there. But King Jack King off seems too strong there when we were equity against so many hands, against so many pairs and stuff. Get that ladder. School is busting. Good luck. Oh, a four. Oh! Okay. I mean, it's a winner takes all, but still I would like to, to outlast uh, Henry and... and uh, and uh, Leon to be ahead of them in the overall leaderboard, but um, 
yeah, I mean, that shouldn't shouldn't play a role, like if we really just care about the payout structure. So my only goal is still to finish ahead of Prerod and uh, Fedor. So let's win this flip or give him ace deuce. Queen five, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. G, G. So we have Bolero sitting on Omega Shorts like still. Just tense. Just tense. Gonna call blind v blind. And if I really wanna try hard this, like if I really wanna try hard this, then this is not a call. Fighting for survival. Lines up, three bigs for me, check 7 0. Gonna fold the 3 dot jamming. Let's see if I can get a hand next one. Oh, king! 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 Yes! <laughs> <laughs> oh, imagine that's the check of diamonds. No, he busts. I get the ladder. Damn, I'm third now. How many points do I get for third? Four points, so I'm at eight points total. It's not too bad. All right, ace for recording against Fedor. Come on, let's make the comeback and finish second here. Maybe win the whole thing. Come on, ace. I mean, we're ahead now. Fuck, ace four. Come on, dealer. Ace four, dealer. Ace four. Ace four. No, GG. Eight points total in the end. Good game, guys. Good game. Man, that was fun. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I take it. Eight points total. It probably doesn't make me finish in last place, and I definitely take that as a win, given how the first one started. Feels call. Check to suit it. Like any suit of queen is easy for like even yeah, this is a call. And we always get there here. Yeah. Like we we get the, we get a slow comeback, and then we get the chance to come back. Okay, I might have been wrong. I might have been a little wrong. Well, that's Fedor taking back-to-back -back wins. That's Fedor taking back-to-back -back wins. Where we get Prize, six points. Thanks for playing. <laughs> Give me my money. I think that Fedor won the whole thing now. But, um, yeah, thank you all for watching. And see you for the next part of the Energy Private Home Game series, which is going to come for sure, I think. But, um, yeah, see you then. Thank mm -hmm. you.